Well, you tell it what you want and it does it. Sounds like the perfect marriage. Anyway, welcome to the era of AI agents. OpenAI just dropped its most ambitious feature yet for ChatGPT. An agent that doesn't just think, but acts. It can browse the web for you, book reservations, fill out forms, generate slide decks, crunch Excel sheets, even actually shop for cupcakes. But here's the question. Is this the future of productivity or just another smart toy wrapped in hype? Well, let's find out. This ChatGPT agent isn't just a chatbot anymore. It's actually your virtual intern armed with a virtual computer. Think of it as a browser, a terminal, a file editor, and an assistant all inside ChatGPT. Need a date night planned? Well, it checks your calendar, finds top rated restaurants, and gives you a list. Working on a pitch deck, it reads earnings reports, generates graphs, and drafts slides. All you do is prompt and wait. But don't expect instant magic. Some tasks can take up to 30 minutes. Just like a human, the agent takes its time reading, clicking, asking for clarifications. And yes, you can interrupt it anytime to change course. OpenAI says this is by design. It's collaborative. You stay in control. It doesn't make purchases without asking. It won't dive into your finances. And for risky tasks, well, it requires you to watch as it works. This agent combines the best of OpenAI's earlier tools. Operator, which could actually browse and click like a human. Deep research, which read dozens of pages and summarized results. Now, they live in one model with memory integration planned next. But there is a catch. AI agents face new threats, from prompt injections to malicious websites. The risk isn't just what your AI does, it's actually what it accidentally might fall for. That's why OpenAI added safety rails, monitors and a takeover mode. Because giving an AI free reign on the internet isn't just cool, it's actually quite risky. The rollout? Well, it is live today for pro users. Plus and team plans follow next, enterprises and education later in the summer. Pro users get 400 agent prompts per month. Everyone else gets about 40 for now. So what does this all mean? It pretty much sums up to this. AI agents aren't just assistants. They are actually becoming digital co-workers and this changes how we use the internet. Less searching, more delegating. Less clicking, more prompting. But we are still in the early stages. It is powerful, it is slow, it is helpful, and it is not perfect. What's clear is this though. OpenAI doesn't just want to talk with you. It wants to work for you. And if agents like this succeed, you might spend less time on screens and more time, well, doing whatever else you want. This is Front Page by AIM TV. Like, share, subscribe and please do tell us, would you trust an AI to run your errands? Let's debate in the comments. And always remember, think AI, think AIM and also think Cypher 2025, which actually kicks off on the 17th of September till the 19th of September at KTPO Whitefield, Bengaluru. It is India's biggest AI summit and expo. Be there for the AI magic begins.